First, when your grandfather is a photographer and your dad is a filmmaker, what do you expect the next generation to do? Put photography and filmmaking together on YouTube, of course, with his own unique spin. Our first guest is known to millions for his 10-minute photo challenge. All right, Toby, hit that pose again. I liked it last time. Good, right there, hold it right there. Good, good, great. Hold on, yes, this is an amazing jump. Keep going, go. Good, go again. And here to talk about his book, Born to Dance, celebrating the wonder of childhood, is photographer and New York Times bestselling author, Jordan Matter. Hello, and welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> there we go. This is so cool. I love this for so many different reasons. But uh, first, let's talk about the fact that all this is kind of in your DNA. Yeah. Your dad yeah. and your grandfather. All the time. When I was, my, my grandfather was Swiss, so he didn't say much. But... I would hang out with him in the dark room for hours, and it seemed like the most romantic place on earth, where we communicated yeah, the most. Because a picture says a thousand words. Yeah, but also right? just the magic of the developer and watching the print come up. So I always had this romantic ideal of photography from the time I was very, very young. Yeah, and I love yeah, when you talk about that. You're right, because you had to wait for things yeah. to develop in front of you. Today, we you know we don't no longer drop it off at Walgreens and wait two weeks and pick it up and see what we got. Right. right? No, when I give talks sometimes <laughs> and I mention film, I see this befuddled look like, what's film? Yeah, right. Right. Yeah, but but it was an ex exciting. Experience. Yeah, and what's so cool about it, of course, is that you capture moments in time. Literally, in our fast-paced world, you capture moments in time. Yeah, you freeze them. Yeah. Yeah, hold on to it. How did you decide to do this particular project? Well, the particular project of Born to Dance, you mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that came out of, an, of a desire. It was a follow-up book to a best-selling book I had called Dancers Among Us, which was adults' everyday life stories. And that was inspired by my son and seeing how much passion he had for moment-to-moment -moment, uh, life and how as we get older, we lose that. Yeah. Right? And so we want to celebrate the everyday. So I made this book to do just that, using dancers to show the world as if seen through the eyes of a child. Yeah. And as the follow-up, I was watching my daughter shovel snow, and she looked so cute, I grabbed my camera to take a photo and she did an arabesque and I thought born to dance the childhood the story of childhood in all its forms not just sleepovers and ice cream but every aspect of childhood yeah. I decided to document it through dance and what I love about born to dance you look through all these different pictures in here and we have like some of them there um, it's like they're, they're not necessarily perfect moments they're almost like dare to moments yes. right yes. And, you, and you saw you there kind of coaching people and say just, just give me this give me that right? right and having people kind of break out of their shell yeah. It sounds like a lot of moments in your life oh, are things really that weren't cool. necessarily planned, cool. uh -huh. but kind of, you know, I always say there's no coincidences, but you, you might not have seen it coming. Like how you became a professional photographer anyway, right. even though you, you grew up watching it. Right, right. The way I became a professional photographer, I biked to the top of a mountain with my wife. I looked out at the horizon and realized I had no idea how to take that photo. Mm -hmm. So on the way down the mountain, I decided to take a photography course, and it was a black and white printer course. And when I saw the first print come up in the developer, it was that feeling like how you get with um, with some sort of magical thing, right? And yeah. I had this hallelujah moment. I realized this is what I'm meant to do. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, our office, some people in our office thought it was what they were meant to do as well. Oh. So um, we have a, a couple of pictures that, uh, yeah, so, so there they are in the office there. Okay, oh, there we go. Oh, this is yeah, fantastic. Kind of, a, kind of a, I don't know what you call that dance moment exactly, but um, <laughs> there that you go. The, the desk leg hike, right? <laughs> and then there's oh. our Christina with her, with her daughter. All right, we have another one here. Yeah, Ralph, look at Ralph. I think that's a leg. That is, uh, he had a leg cramp, but he made it a dance move. Ralph. <laughs> yeah, we made it a dance move there. But with your YouTube channel, <laughs> when you see things like this, what happens is people start to mimic it, right? Yes. And so, what's the what's the value of that? Oh well, first of all, just to I mean, the, the dance is a is an expressive art form, right? So the idea that people are getting involved and expressing themselves and communicating. But the thing that I love the most, I'm getting so many messages from kids who are do, going out with their parents and doing the 10 minute photo challenge. So like yeah. their parent brings out their phone and the kid tries and says, mom, mom, just get, do this for 10 minutes and it's become a bonding thing with them. Yeah. And the idea of just expressing yourself through physicality I think is very healthy. You also have a platform of anti-bullying. Yes. And there's a young girl who uh, was a dancer who mm. was plus size yes. and so was being bullied. People were making fun of her and yeah. you decided to use her in the book. I decided to put her in the book and to do a video about her and her, think about this, she went to dance class every day and she got bullied for how she looked. Aww. Can you imagine for 10 years doing something every day that you love so much you'll put up with bullying daily? Yeah. She is the most inspiring person I've met probably in this whole process. This is so cool. And so uh, you also make that your platform again, bullying on social media. Which... Absolutely. There's no bullying at all on my social media page. It's not allowed. And there's a lot of that that I discuss in the book because it's a re really important part of growing up. Yeah. What do you hope this book does? Like, you know, every great book has legs. Yeah. Uh, no pun intended on this one. But right. um, that 
that this one continues from the book and from your YouTube channel? How do you want it to spill out into society? Well, I mean, I want it to have a positive impact. Like when we're talking about bullying, for example, when I was a kid, I used to get my hair tied in knots every day in the bus and then spit on when I got out of the bus. Wow. That was my experience, right? So I know what it feels like. You know, I also just lost my father. I lost my mother earlier. And, and so I know what it feels like to, for loss. I know what it feels like to be bullied. And I want to have this book resonate in all aspects of childhood and adolescence, not just the fun stuff like sleepovers. Yeah. And I want people to look at this and I want everybody that looks at this book to see themselves in it somewhere. Yeah, I, I was the bullied kid as well. You and I would have hung out in high school and junior high and elementary. We I could have been, used we your friendship then, believe we, <laughs> we, would have been, we would have been friends. Yeah. Um, what do you think the biggest mistake is that we make with the pictures we take today? Oh, wow, there's so many of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say number one, the subject is too small in the frame. Yeah. Number two, they're always wearing black, and then the background is black, so you can't see them. And number three, they're usually blurry. And number four, there's no humor. Yeah. Well, so I think, well, I'll tell you where the humor is when the family decides to all wear the Christmas sweaters together and they have the Christmas photos that are coming up oh, pretty soon. Oh, that's unintentional humor. <laughs> that's unintentional yes. humor there. And then I think the other thing for me, too, is, is just like leaving them in your phone and forgetting about them, oh, right? Because yeah. they're all there. It's right. like, do you still print? No. You don't print? <laughs> I don't print. <laughs> like, Other than I, for exhibitions, yeah, yeah. no, I don't. I keep thinking it's going to disappear yeah. in the cloud somewhere, and yeah. I've got to print them and have them in, the, in a shoebox yeah, somewhere. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. I have yeah. too many photos to print. It would take me all day. Uh, your kids happen to be here today. They do. They Come on out. over here. You decide to bring them on tour. Yes. So yes, they can yes. see what daddy really does? Yes. Hi. So that they can maybe finally think I'm cool. Yeah, right. That hasn't worked. Right. This is my daughter, Salish. Is this on? Are we talking this? Yeah. This is my daughter, Salish, and this is my son, Hudson. Hello. Hi. And uh, often people ask me what my inspiration is, and it's these two, and it's my wife who's here but knitting. And she, in the background. She's knitting in the background. <laughs> yeah, she's knitting in the oh, background. Wow. Um, but they are the ones that inspire me every day. I mean, literally, my son inspired my first book, and Salish inspired <laughs> this. So it's just, I, I want to be the person that I want them to grow up to be, and I want to be somebody they can be proud of. Of. That's fantastic. And oftentimes, I think, uh, when you're bullied, like we saw the dancer, mm -hmm. you were bullied, I was bullied, yeah. that you can grow up to either become a bully or you become the champion for bullies. Yes. And yes, so sometimes you don't know what your mission is. Your mission chooses you, I oftentimes yeah. say. All right, so I want to end with you all giving me your best pose, okay? Okay. And I want your dance pose. Give well, me the now, dance pose. I wait, saw you practicing earlier. This is earlier. kind of unfair because yeah, she's a gymnast. Yeah, yeah. Hudson has turned into quite a photographer, to be honest, but I don't know about the. Hudson, just give me your move. Hudson, Let's give me something. Come give on, me something good. There. Give you me something this. good. I have a question. What camera am I supposed to look at? Oh, he said, what camera am I supposed to look at? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're supposed yeah, to look at. All the stars ask about that. Yeah, yeah. So Robin's going to take the picture here, and so we just need you to give me a pose. Just strike a pose before we go. You want, you yeah, want me to do go, it with you? Come on, there you go. Brother, sister team here. Oh, this is awesome. All right. I'd say get that leg up. <laughs> the camera's over there. <laughs> there you go. All right, there you go. Well, the theater district the is right over there. They may be calling. Oh, yes, oh, she, you're she right. She up. is a gymnast. Try it again, say. That's <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Oh. All right. Way to go. You have the chance to meet Jordan tonight <laughs> at 7 p.m. at Spring Forest Middle School to get a ticket into the book signing line. Purchase a copy of Born to Dance at the Blue Willow Bookshop. For more details, you can visit greatdayhouston.com.